Hi everyone, in this video I would like to introduce the concept of uh, content tracking. So actually I got this question during a training that I was doing at a customer. Uh, basically the customer was going through the UI of Matomo Analytics and ending up in contents and asked uh, me actually uh, what's the point? What's contents? Uh, which kind of data are we supposed to send? up here, how does it work, and so on and so forth. So uh, as you can see, the documentation is here, but I guess that's not what you are interested in, right? You are mostly interested in what is the use case and how to deploy it. OK, so let's first of all um, justify why do we have this feature in Matomo Analytics, how does it work, and why is it useful? Let's take uh, one portal, right? We have one information portal. I'm sorry, this one is in French, but that's the one I had in mind. Um, on this portal, you have several information, right? You have several contents. And basically here, as you can see, it's about Brexit. Then here it's about uh, TV. Uh, here it's about artists. And then it moved actually to another news. Um, and as well, we have um, uh, soccer information and so on. You have a lot of content which are on a specific page and which are moving, right? They are moving, so they have some kind of different performances. So I will say, of course, I could click on each of those news and it will redirect me to a specific news. So I could get, for example, if I click on, on this one, which is perhaps, yeah. So I could click on this one and get the information that, of course, from the home page, someone I'll probably click on this link, but um, I will never know, let's say, uh, how much time a specific content has been uh, displayed on the page. And let's see uh, how much people are really interacting with it. And um, and I mean, the URL, it, it may not be that um, much of information. Maybe I just would like to push out the title on each time of the article, and I would like to know how many times it has been displayed uh, on the home page and what is the CTR. So basically, a typical use case will be to understand, for example, for a specific picture, uh, which one will probably work the best because the picture is of a better quality or you have a CTR, whatever. So this is what tracking content is about, right? That's not about tracking the URL. That's about tracking how many times a specific content on a specific web page has been displayed, how many people clicked on it in comparison to the number of times uh, it has been uh, displayed, and so on and so forth. And that's exactly what uh, it's telling you up here. If you go down, if we say, OK, it's in terms of impressions, in terms of content interaction and uh, interaction rate, right? So that's uh, all the information you can push to Metamo Analytics if you configure, actually, a specific tracking, OK? So uh, you could, of course, get information regarding uh, the different content which have been displayed. Um, how does it work? OK, so if you go down the page, so you have to know that Matomo is not tracking all the content uh, straight away. It requires you to add a line of code, which is the pack push to track all content impressions. OK, that's the same. So you need to have this line of code, or either this one according to, let's say, the kind of content, either if it's visible or not, that you would like to track. But just for this specific video, I'm just going to uh, work with this one. Okay, So you need to add this line of code, but that's not sufficient. Okay, If you just add this line of code, nothing's going to happen, because you need to add, actually, an extra layer of uh, data on each of the elements of your page. And this is where it drives you to. Uh, the tracking part, where it's uh, telling you, OK, you need to add, actually, to each element. So if I would have taken this one, you, you should have had in this image, actually, some extra um, information, which are uh, the data track content, the data content name, the data content piece, probably either the data content target, and so on and so forth, in order to know for this specific piece of content um, what you would like, uh, the fact that you would like to track them. OK, so um, as you understand now, it uh, requires you to access to the source code of the page and to modify each element of the page. So let's do it like this. And so it requires you to go on each of those, right, 
as I'm doing here, and uh, to modify in the image in itself uh, the um, the information, right? So I uh, I hate doing this because most of the time when I'm working on a project, I never had access to the source code as I may break the website because I'm not a developer at all, right? So in this video, what I will show you is actually a tutorial about how you can make it through Matomo Tag Manager and how you can add those extra layer of uh, data on a given image. Um, I'm not an expert. I just succeeded in doing it actually just a couple of minutes ago, and I did it with uh, a developer uh, with who I discussed about uh, the possibility to do it with Matomo Tag Manager. This developer is uh, Lucas Winkler that you can find on uh, forum.matumo.org as one of the major contributors. Um, okay, so let's uh, let's do it. So the typical use case that I would like to do is actually to track this specific content on matumo.org. I do not have any access to this website. What I did is I used the Matumo uh, browser injector actually developed by Lucas in order to inject uh, my container on the page, right? So you can see this is my container. And um, regarding the container that I inject on the page, I have, of course, uh, the regular Matomo Analytics tracking code. And I added actually another uh, tracking code, which is um, a tracking code, which is actually uh, adding some extra layer of data to this element. So if I do um, like a click right and that I um, investigate the element, you will see that actually this element, the banner, right, is this one. And uh, you can see that actually the uh, there's those data track content, data content name, that blah, blah, blah. OK, all of those things have been added thanks uh, to Matomo Tag Manager. OK, so if I just go up here and I say, OK, I don't want to activate it, I register it. And uh, if the page is uh, reloaded, you will see that actually the information is missing, right? So I don't have it. But thanks to Matomo Tag Manager, if I do this, you will see that actually I'm getting this extra layer thanks to what I'm executing through uh, Matomo Tag Manager. So that's kind of magic. And uh, let's uh, dig into it, right? So I'm going to go here. And uh, so as I promised, I have my regular Matomo Analytics tracking code, but then I added an extra layer of uh, data. So um, I mean, I'm not a champion here. Basically, uh, it's Lucas who actually uh, gave me the code. So yeah, what do I have? I have a JavaScript function. Uh, I mean, here I have a variable which is defined. Right? It defines yell. OK, that's the name of my variable. I could have named it as I wanted, but this is here. Equal document query selector. So I'm saying to the website uh, which uh, element of the page I would like to pick it up. Uh, the element that I pick up is dot new uh, Matomo banner. How did I know that? Uh, I just went here. I just do like a right click. And then I just say, um, uh, examine the element, the last one. And then once I was there, I just do like a right click. And on the right click, I just say copy. And I copy the CSS selector. OK, that's what I did. And if I go up here and I'm doing this, as you can see, it's telling me that it's dot new Matomo banner. OK, so uh, I'm not a champion here. All I did is just doing a right click, picking up the CSS selector. And that's the reason why I put it here, right? So this is what I'm saying. I say, hey, I have a variable. And for this variable, I want to select this element of the page based on the um, CSS selector. That's it. Then what this line is saying is saying, hey, um, I want to add actually some data to uh, the element. And I would like to add as uh, uh, the data, the track content, which is the information which is required here, right? You need to add the data track content in order to define a block. And then you need to define a name. So I could say like uh, banner change name announcement, banner change name announcement, announcement, da da da. Uh, and then uh, I actually, um, I'm just gonna, I dislike to have it on several lines, banner change name. Uh, and content piece stand for, um, I don't know, uh, 
top banner for example top banner okay. um, and um, yeah as you can see i added here the line to track all content impressions you have to know that in the matomo analytics tag of matomo tag major the one which is already integrated you have a feature for that but uh here the issue is that the information wasn't uh, when the container uh, loaded first wasn't uh, present on the page so um, it cannot work uh, so that's why i added it uh, after it right uh, actually i could have tried to launch uh, before uh, the first matomo tag to load uh, this one in order to have it actually already the information on the page but that's not the case so that's why i'm adding it uh, i'm adding the line here in order to say to the system okay uh, start to count when actually those lines of code are executed because we need those lines to be there in order to count the interaction on um, on the content and when i say counting the interaction i'm also mentioning impression so um here in my case i just said okay on every pages i want this um, code to load actually that's not a good use case because the banner is only on the page on the home page so i should have had a filter saying just on the home page but never mind i don't care this is just for an example so let's uh let's publish it so that's it and now let's publish okay so i'm just going to give it a name which will be number five and then i'm publishing okay so uh now let's uh let's refresh the page oops let's refresh it okay so normally now um i have like a new impression so if i'm going back on my uh, on my website if i do like the visitor log i should see appearing the banner change name to banner right that's great i got it so now if i go on content i will see the many times where actually uh, my banner has been uh, loaded and as you can see it has been already displayed like um, three times and so if i'm lucky enough let's refresh the page uh, i should see like a two so if i'm going here if i refresh the page i should see like a two two do i yeah two two great that's almost in real time and if i click on it uh, normally it should be counted as a click so i can actually now go back and click here as well and i should say like uh like a click as well um so i have the impression but not uh the interaction so um that's kind of da 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 so okay that's interesting you see um it seems that actually i'm getting it wrong uh, i'm not oh i see um i guess that the reason why i'm not getting it is because i did not include the target uh define the content target so I don't know um, that uh, content ignore interaction or declare to da, 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 da. okay so uh, as I say I'm like kind of a beginner here because I did not really experiment it before so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this data content target I'm not even sure that I need to um, that I need to put the real URL, but uh, let's let's try it, right? So just say, hey, I want this part here. So let's say this part. Okay, so we have the data content target, and we're gonna say that it goes to the blog. Okay. Um, okay, let's give it a try anyway. So I can see here that I have some um uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. yeah my only point here is that actually they have they use this right they use this and i didn't that a content piece hmm. okay anyway 
uh, let's let's see if I'm writing this way if it will make any difference maybe yes maybe no I don't know I have no idea let's try Oops, and let's publish it okay so let's go back now up here and uh, let's refresh it okay so if I refresh it twice probably I should I should sit um, up here Okay, so it's still working. Um, and let's click on it. So if I click on it and let's uh, click back on it. Okay, uh, content target block, so it has been taken properly. And let's see if it affects actually the uh, interactions. Nope, it didn't. So actually, um, I may am doing something wrong. Okay, that's highly possible. Why do I not have the content interaction yet? Um, so I guess I need to learn something more about it, but it's kind of giving you a broad idea of how it's working and um, and yeah, uh, I hope that this video helped you. Uh, if I succeed in uh, making something better, I will probably actually um, post it again. Uh, thanks for watching.